A few weeks ago, some United fans were saying it couldn't get any worse for the club. It just did. United losing 3-1 against Liverpool at Anfield wasn't surprising at all. We all went into the game fearing the worst, and for me, the worst happened. Liverpool had 36 shots to United's six. Liverpool are now 19 points ahead of Manchester United. It's the biggest gap between the two clubs in over 40 years. United 11 points off the top four. Now it can't really get any worse for Man United. And I, you know me, you know my support of Jose Mourinho over the season. But it's waned. It really, really has. And the reason I'm saying that is because I just can't see now how United are going to improve at any point this season. We've got a whole defence with not one defender who can defend. We've got a whole midfield that just can't pass. We've got Lukaku, who seems more like a statue than a striker. But it's not about the individuals there. I'm talking about Mourinho, and I'm, I'm a bit lost for words, I suppose, because that was complete humiliation at the home of our arch rivals. And at a time when it was 1-1 and Klopp is bringing on Shakiri, the man who changed the game, Mourinho at 1-1 is bringing on Fellaini to squeeze the game. Two different styles of manager. And United just came up short in every fucking department today. And unfortunately, it, it all falls for me at the feet of Mourinho for that. Yes, the players, you know, they could have played better. Individual mistakes could have been cut out. They had two deflections. But Alisson, he made a mistake for United's goal. I just, for me, United... I don't know what the fuck we're going to do under Mourinho anymore. His sacking has to be inevitable now, surely. Because United are 11 points off the top four. Ed Woodward has sacked David Moyes when mathematically United couldn't finish in the top four. Why wait until the end of the season for that to be mathematically the case now? The reason that I've always sort of been wary of saying sack Mourinho is because I fear what happens on the other side of that for Man United. Because we've sacked managers in the last couple of years and the grass hasn't always been greener. And I know that the problems at the club stem a lot deeper than Jose Mourinho. But for me, you're looking at that today. 1-1, last 20 minutes. I'm seeing Paul Pogba, Juan Mata and Anthony Martial on the bench. Three of our best players. Yes, he brought Martial on. But at that point, the game was dead and buried. Liverpool were just... The fans were cheering every pass. The Liverpool fans were cheering, don't sack Mourinho. We're a fucking laughing stock. And then Mourinho has got Pogba on the bench. And for me, that's the situation now where I feel Mourinho is just letting his own misgit, his own personal vendettas against players cloud his judgment as a manager. And I just can't, I'm, I'm trying to get, there's no, there's no positive you can take from that game whatsoever. And I've always tried to stay behind Mourinho because I don't want United to just keep sacking managers and keep coming in and hope that something's going to be better. But I can't, for the life of me, see anything here after that game that makes me think we're going to turn it around at any point this season now. The players have, for me, packed it in there. Mourinho's packed it in. I'm sure after the game we'll talk about the deflections. I'm sure we'll talk about probably the rain. But it's left me kind of speechless because that was a complete and utter humiliation. 36 shots. Liverpool fans cheering every pass. That shouldn't happen against United. The intensity was there in the first 15 minutes. We saw it. Well, the intensity of the whole game itself rather than Man United. And we shouldn't have gone in at half-time, one all. But we did. We are still in the game. But United just fucked it. We absolutely threw it away. And yes, Liverpool are... A, Clearly, a better team than us right now. And football is cyclical. And in a few years, I'm sure we'll be better than where we are now. We certainly can't get any worse. But I just now, at this point, can't really back Mourinho anymore. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. And we've had improved performances in certain occasions. And I've agreed with some decisions he's made. But today, I can't stand behind Mourinho anymore. Not after that performance there. You know, Ed Woodward in the stands, Sir Alex Ferguson in the stands, Sir Bobby Charlton in the stands, David Gill in the stands, or David Gill, however you say his name. They're all watching that. They're looking at a manager now that looks lost. For me, you know, Mourinho has lost, he lost so much support after Sevilla last year. And that game there today, that game, 
is where he's lost a hell of a lot more. I remember under David Moyes when we played Liverpool and City in a, in a space of a week and we got spanked, I think, 3-0 by both of them. And it was at that point where I was just like, you know what, it's not going to work under Moyes. And I think that game today, for me, is the point where I say, I don't think it's going to work under Jose Mourinho. And there's no point getting mad and angry and having a huge rant about it because it's, it's plain for everyone to see. It was painful today to watch that game and I knew it was going to be painful. But Mourinho, you know, he, sometimes he pulls out these performances out of nowhere. He didn't today. And United just bent over and let Liverpool have their wicked way with us. And this is the... You can't do that in these games. And that's happened now twice. Against City early this season, that was horrific. And Liverpool now equally as horrific. And as I've said, look, you know me and my support of Mourinho as the season has gone on. You know, it has waned a little bit here and there. But for me now, I just think United have to sack Mourinho. I don't know whether that means Kieran McKenna and Michael Carrick taking over in interim position between now and the end of the season. Whatever that may be, whether it's Leonardo, uh, sorry, Jardim or whether it's Zidane or anybody you think it might be, I don't know. And that scares me. But the idea of this whole season now continuing in the same vein as it is right now, that scares me more. And because of that, I think United do have to sack Mourinho. We're 11 points off the top four and it's not even fucking December. I mean, come on. But let me know what you think in the comments below. But after that, I think it's going to be very hard for most people to defend Mourinho, and I can't anymore.